I am straining and separating the milk and cream today. So I have a hand crank cream separator and this can hold three gallons of milk at a time. And then you just crank and the skim milk comes out here and the cream comes out over here. pretty full. I've got more milk, but I might keep it uh, so we can see how much cream is on a half gallon. And here is our skim milk that's left over. And for our family, it's kind of useless, so we give it to the pig. I guess you could sell skim milk to people who wanted skim milk. some cream. It's almost like ice cream. Very nice. Let's make butter. Oh man, this is amazing. Okay, this is my roughly 110 year old daisy butter churn and I have three quarters of a gallon of cream from our Guernsey cows in here and it's very thick cream so we probably won't have a lot of buttermilk after this is finished. It'll be mostly butter. But let's get churning. Okay, so you just start churning. You don't have to go fast. It can take anywhere between 10 minutes and an hour, just depending on the butter and diet, the temperature, all sorts of things. So just keep going until the butter starts to break into liquid and then big chunks of butter. So the liquid is buttermilk and the chunks are obviously your butter globules is what they're called. Okay, I don't have the best lighting right now, but you can see I've been churning for about 15 minutes or so, and we've got lots of butter starting to form, and in just a minute it'll start really breaking up into buttermilk and butter globules. Okay, so now you can see we have butter and buttermilk. So the next step is to uh, um, strain the buttermilk out and then wash the butter with cold water. And the butter is full of buttermilk right now, so once I uh, pour the buttermilk out, the butter will need to be washed with cold water until the water runs clear. And you use a spoon or these nice paddles, butter paddles, that help uh, remove the buttermilk from the butter, which helps the butter last a lot longer Okay, so I got a quart of wonderful fresh buttermilk, perfect for baking. You can also put buttermilk culture in it. Um, the, you can get that at like uh, cheese uh, supply websites and culture it for baking as well. But this makes really fluffy um, pancakes and muffins and things like that. Here is our butter that I'm going to be taking out. Now that is a lot of butter. Okay, so you use these paddles to kind of smush the buttermilk out of the butter. And I let the butter sit in the fridge for about an hour to cool down. But if you leave it in too long, then it'll really harden and be hard to work with. So first you start with just smashing it up to loosen up all of the buttermilk on the inside. And then you'll run cold water, not warm because it'll melt the butter, over it and then continue smashing like this under the water until 
until uh, you have no more buttermilk coming out of the butter. And the butter should become more and more golden as you get more of the buttermilk out of the butter. Okay, so I just washed it a few times and now I have, you can see all the water in there. So I'm just gonna work the butter. You can see how milky the water is. There's lots of buttermilk hidden in here. And then in just a minute, I'll flush it again to rinse the butter and fill it with more water. These little ridges in the paddles help draw the buttermilk out. Okay, this butter is ready for salting. And if you want your butter to last even longer, you can also add a, a little capsule of vitamin E and mix it in. Okay, so this is a half pound including this little bit, half pound of butter. I have the rest of the butter that I made last night right here. And um, I just salted this butter with just a pinch of salt, but you can add um, as much salt as you want to the butter until it's the flavor you like. But you just mix it up. I like Himalayan pink salt the best. It just it tastes better. The mold, because it's wood, has to be soaked with water before you put the butter in. Cold water is best. I use a towel, put it inside, and then set it in the fridge uh, while I'm making the rest of the butter. And then it's ready for when I'm ready to put the butter in the mold. Okay, let's see how the butter turned out. So you unlock it here, and you pull this apart. Sometimes it can, since it was in the freezer, it can get a little tough. So you just gently pry it open. You take the mold off. There we go. This is half a pound. Okay, so here's what the butter looks like. A little cow and grass. Beautiful.